right, here we go. The first of many repots of the trees I collected last summer. I think it was August 2020. I've had them in these cups in just pretty much pure sand, local sand that they were growing in. Up closer to Algonquin at the cottage. We got a whole bunch of them. These are Max trees. I love you, brother. Here's the first two of them. A couple little cedars. They grew a good amount of roots, actually. I kept them outside all winter. They've gone through their seasonal cycle. It's now April 4th, 2021. I'm in Southern Ontario. Things, everything's just starting to green up. Buds are starting to pop on a lot of trees and plants. Perfect time of year to do some repotting. Growed one side there. Pretty much all came from the big one. I don't need to wash the roots off. Keep some of their local, you know, mycorrhizae, mycorrhizae, however you pronounce it. Not a lot of roots on this one, so I won't play around with them at all. I won't cut them. Won't do any pruning kind of splits there so that's not bad not a bad start definitely some work I could do next time for now I'll just plant it fairly deep and let it grow for the year repot it next spring Got this little pot all ready to go for this one Pretty good start. I'll water it thoroughly a little later. Just get it wet for now so it doesn't dry out.
tree number one, cedar number one. Do a little bit of root pruning on this one. It's got some long ones going there. It's gonna it's gonna go into a slightly bigger pot. So I'm gonna want it somewhere around there, which means I'll need to cut this off. Just use these old scissors. Get a straight cut there. That should do well in the future. Lots of good root growth to start. I can cut the rest of this off later, the rest of the tap root, but for now I need it. Something like that. There's not much root grow in this direction, so I'll plant it closer to this side and try and get roots to grow it the other way. There's more roots on this one, so I'll do a little bit of you know, chopsticking. This isn't a chopstick, it's an old broken paintbrush, but same idea. Get the soil down into the air pockets between the roots. Make sure there's good contact between soil and roots at all times in all spaces. I'm calling this channel Prehistoric Bonsai because my first passion, Prehistoric Living, like my other YouTube page says, my main account. But I've also grown to love bonsai over the last couple years. I don't have any prehistoric pots or tools that I'm using yet, but I will in time. Right now I have a lot of repotting to do and not a lot of time, so using modern materials next year I'll be prepared to do everything using natural materials, nothing modern, except for the camera. Cedar number two. These should both grow well, start really greening up soon. Uh, there's this, I don't know if this was new growth that got frozen maybe. We've had some really warm weather up in the high teens Celsius. And then overnight, the last couple nights, it's dipped down real low. There was frost in the morning, so maybe some of the tender new stuff died off but I'm sure it'll green up and start growing soon everything looks good all right well that's the end of the first video just a quick one I got a lot of repotting left to do this is the backyard where I've done a bunch of 
pruning of these big trees. We've got a quince tree, rose of Sharon, some big vine that I've pruned in a really cool way. We'll go through the videos later. Some roses down there, grape vines. This one's a persimmon tree. We got a big cedar. We've got apricot, pear, apricot. A couple other things over there. A whole bunch of stuff popping up in here. I haven't planted any of this. I just moved in in October, so you know, everything's new to me. It's pretty cool. First spring in this place. This is one of the cottage trees, one of Max's trees. It's a big birch. I don't know, there was a lot of rodent digging in there, so I don't know how well it's doing. It's also grown out of an old stump, so. A few maples I grew from seed over the last couple years. More birches, big spruce. The big one in the middle is a silver maple, I believe. The smaller ones. Norway maples, same with those. I grew all of these from seed. Same time, this is a big pine from a couple years ago. These are the rest of Max trees down here. As you can see, there's lots of stuff. Pine doesn't look like it made it. A couple other small casualties, but for the most part, everything's looking good. A lot of variety from the Northern Ontario area, birch, this is like a bird's nest spruce or something. Cedar, pretty sure this is a mountain maple. Lots of small cedars. Uh, balsam fir that's not doing super great. Bunch of pines, tons of little pine seedlings in there. Slightly bigger pine in there, that'll be a cool tree. Lots of potential in here. We'll see what I can do with it this year and we'll see what they look like down the road. Thanks for watching. See you later.